Hello guys, welcome to Byte Geek. If you are experiencing network issues on your Windows 11 or 10 computer and seeing errors like unidentified network or no internet access in your computer or laptop, if so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll walk you through three simple steps to help you fix the network related errors on your Windows operating system. All right, let's go through the steps one by one. Go to the Windows search bar and type CMD. In the search results, right click on it and choose run as administrator. If prompted for permission, click yes to proceed. Now, follow along with me and enter the following commands one by one in the command prompt window. First, type net sh int ip reset c colon backslash reset log dot txt then press enter. Next type net sh winsock reset then press enter. Finally type ipconfig forward slash flush dns and press enter. These three commands will reset your network settings and often resolve most common network issues in Windows 11 or 10 CompUR. Once you've entered all the commands, restart your computer and check if the problem is resolved. If the issue still persists, don't worry, we'll move on to the second method. Go to the Windows search bar again and type control panel, then open it. Inside the control panel, click on network and sharing center, then click on change adapter settings located in the left panel. You'll now see all your available network connections. You can also open the network connections window using another method. Simply press the Windows plus R keys on your keyboard to open the run dialog box. Then type ncpa.cpl and press enter. This will instantly take you to the network connections window. Right click on the ethernet connection and choose properties. In the ethernet properties window, find and select internet protocol version 4 TCP IP and double click on it. Once the new window opens, select the option that says use the following IP address. In the IP address field, enter your network IP address. The subnet mask will autofill. In the default gateway field, type your router default gateway IP. Next, move to the section that says use the following DNS server addresses. In the preferred DNS server field, enter 8.8.8.8 8 .8 and in the alternate DNS server field, enter 1.1.1.1. After that, make sure to check the box that says validate settings upon exit, then click OK. Close the window. Windows will automatically check for any network problems and suggest a fix. Let Windows troubleshoot and resolve the issue. Once the fix is applied, you can close the window. As you can see, the Ethernet problem is now resolved on my system. Once you've completed these steps, go ahead and restart your computer. If the issue still isn't resolved after the reboot, don't worry. There's one final method you can try, and it often solves network-related problems effectively. Go to Windows Start button, then right-click on it and select Device Manager. In the Device Manager window, locate Network Adapters and click the arrow next to it to expand the list. Find your Ethernet adapter from the list, right-click on it and select Properties. In the Properties window, go to the Driver tab. Here, click on Uninstall Device. Don't worry, this action only removes the driver temporarily. Once you restart your system, Windows will automatically reinstall the correct driver for your network adapter. Click Uninstall to confirm and you'll see that the network driver is removed from your system. Close the Device Manager window and restart your computer. After the reboot, log back into Windows and open Device Manager again. You'll notice that the network adapter has been reinstalled automatically. To ensure everything is up to date, right click on the Ethernet driver once again and select Update Driver. 
then choose search automatically for drivers. Windows will search online and install any updated drivers available. Once this is done, close device manager and check if the unidentified network or no internet access issue has been resolved. In most cases, this method should fix the problem. I hope this video helped you solve your network issue on Windows 11. If it did, please consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell icon so you don't miss future tech tutorials. Your support really helps us grow. Also, feel free to like the video, leave a comment and share it with friends who might find it helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.